Farm News Media presents Farm News 5. Agro Expo kicks off with a lot of sunshine in St. John's. We speak with a number of innovators at this year's show. I'm Janelle Bros, and this is Farm News 5. Farm News 5 is brought to you by Ford. Folks, we are at the uh, Agro Expo in St. John's, and right now we're standing at the 360 Yield booth, and joining me is their agronomy manager, Stephanie Smith. Stephanie, tell me a little bit about what you have on display this year. Sure, so we're showing our efficiency uh, technologies, efficiency of fertilizer application, uh, micronutrient insecticide, uh, fungicide application, and we're showing off our new products called 360 uh, Yield Saver and 360 Chain Roll, which is our harvest products. What advantages are growers seeing uh, with those new harvest products? Yeah, we're just gaining efficiency with that harvest pass. So with our gathering chains, we're saving two to five bushels in terms of yield that we've seen past year with our testing. Um, we're just bringing more of that grain into the head for harvest. We, we fight all year to grow it, so we might as well harvest it. Sure. And then uh, we have our 360 chain roll, which is our residue management tool. We're getting residue to break down quicker. We're making that fertility become available to the next growing crop, and we're having better plantability the next year. All right, for folks who want to learn more who weren't able to come out to, to the show this year, where do they turn? Yeah, please visit uh, 360yieldcenter.com. Uh, we have active Facebook and Twitter accounts, equally as named. And uh, we have dealers all across the state of Michigan. All right, well, Stephanie, thanks for joining us. I appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks for your time, Janelle. Welcome back to Farm News 5. We are in St. John's at Agro Expo and joining us now is DuPont Pioneer Dairy Specialist Dan Bollinger. Dan, thanks for joining us today. Welcome. Tell us a little bit about what's been the focus uh, for you in the educational tent. What are you talking with growers about this year? Well, we're focusing in the silage area on uh, the quality variability of silages, uh, recognizing that it is extremely important and has a tremendous amount of influence on the ability of farmers to get milk out of their cows. Talk to us a little bit about variability and, and where that's coming from this year. Well, the, the largest source of variability in a lot of the diets being fed to cows comes from the forages that they're feeding. And we're gaining more and more appreciation and understanding of how much variability is coming out of the fields because of micro growing environments, whether that be from different soil types, fertility, planting dates, as well as weather factors that play into it. What can we expect from this year's crop? Well, what, we're, what we've seen in most of Michigan so far is a, a wetter than normal uh, early growing season up through pollination and, and uh, tasseling and usually we see that the amount of moisture available to the plants uh, through pollination is what determines fiber digestibility. Therefore this growing season we're expecting probably below average fiber digestibilities for most growers in the state of Michigan um, but obviously there are local uh, nuances with the environment they've seen. Any advice for growers going forward? Well something to keep in mind is if you are concerned about poor forage quality and you have an abundance of yield that you anticipate in the field or possibly in inventory there are some management options such as chopping higher uh, that could potentially give you some benefits uh, improving quality as it comes out of the field because once you put it in the pile or in the bag or other silo uh, you're pretty much stuck with the quality that you have. Well Dan thanks for being with us today I really appreciate your time. You're very welcome thank you. All right with Farm News 5 I'm Janelle Bros. The Michigan Soybean Promotion Committee is devoted to investing soybean farmer checkoff dollars to address grower concerns. We focus our efforts on production research, market development, and outreach. Learn more at michigansoybean.org. Agro Expo featured a number of test plots like the ones you see here. And now for a look at your weather for the rest of the growing season, here's Michigan Ag Commodities' Mark Sterling. Thanks, Janelle. And if we look at the uh, weather coming up to in the month of uh, August, we certainly had enough growing degree days. And as we look over the next uh, 8 to 14 days, we're going to see plenty of heat, maybe even a couple more 90 degree days. And as we look for more precipitation across the state, some areas have been dry, we should see above normal precipitation. And it looks like we're going to carry the warm temperatures over into September as well. And uh, so hopefully as we uh, head down the home stretch of the growing season, we should be in good shape. Thanks for stopping by, and I'm Mark Sterling from Michigan Agricultural Commodities. That's a wrap on Farm News 5. From St. John's at Agro Expo, I'm Janelle Bros. Have a great week of farming.